Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borik and this is another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival and we're back with Alpha 11 version of this awesome game, quite unfortunately, yeah, my base does not have it, have any power whatsoever, but that's okay. That's okay, at least for now. I will go into sleep in just a few seconds. So it is actually one day after we've last, we've last met. We have last seen each other, so I was visiting, visiting Talon, and thank you guys for the awesome feedback that you gave me and all the information that you shared with me. Nevertheless, I wanted to find I wanted to find the Prometheum ore, which is essential to make myself uh, some tools, uh, not tools, but. Uh, um, charges for the multi-tool and for the drill. So I went ahead and left Stalin and actually I was going around all over the shop trying to find uh, Prometheum ore or at least Prometheum nodes. I was not able to find any over here at the desert, over here at those plains or in the woods or in the mountain. Where I found them is actually the radiated area over there where there's shitloads of radiation and uh, heat as well so i found them there and i was able to mine some like over here so i've already made some charges i've already prepared the core and also during the last day where are those charges there it is and during the last day i was able to uh, upgrade myself or kill enough animals on this planet to be able to get to level 8 because with level 8 i got additional 40 uh, 40 points to unlock and I will be spending those on large constructor because we will need large constructor to make myself and maybe armor locker as well just in case so we'll be able to unlock to make the large constructor already and with the large constructor we will be able to make uh, what do you call it uh, um, we'll be able to make a drill so let's first start to make it it will take me ages so i'm going to sleep and i will have a good night's sleep and also i've planted today i've planted those fiber plants sprouts and pear things and thank you inform thank you guys for the information about bandages that i can make them uh, basically with plant fibers and plant protein on me that will help me with my um, leg problems and health problems and they are really really easy to be done okay so early morning i think we should be able oh look at that i can pick four of those fantastic so we should be able i'm not going to be canceling that because if you cancel the production you will lose all the components that you've already input um so yeah watch out for that and it really does um, take a bit of a time to uh, make that thing going also i've made myself a clone chamber it should be somewhere over here for a base um and i think it is going to be really important to place it in my base quite unfortunately i have absolutely no idea why i cannot see the goddamn thing that i would would like to place inside i can see it outside Right, everything is nice, and I can smack bang it outside, as you can see right now. But going inside does not give me any possibility to place the goddamn thing over there. Right, this is not medical chamber. Um, it is just a spawn spawn point. Right, uh, do I set it up as a spawn point? Do I have to set it up? I think I do. Uh, so let's go back actually inside. Let's hope there's not going to be any spiders crawling and biting me in the ass. Um, I think I can set it up over here as a spawn point something. CPU statistics. Oh, look at that. Those new CPU tiers and active tier and yeah, all that. I have no idea what that, what all of that is. Right, uh, the, once there was an information about show on hard, lock code, set spawn point, that you can have like few of those and set one point somewhere, home spawn, yeah, let's, let's, let's do the home spawn over here, so if I die, then I will be uh, resurrected over here, so I think large generator, should be done already there it is okay fantastic so let's put it 
quite unfortunately outside. I don't know why, but I really don't mind. So I'm going to be putting that one over here, like bam, smack bang, and we will have a large constructor outside. Now I just assign some containers uh, from which um, it should take cargo, and bada beam, bada boom, we should be able to make quite a lot of holy shit rockets. Oh, these are so cool, and the turrets, and sentry guns, and there's something crawling down the... Oh no, these are just trees, okay. Ah, let's not do that. Okay, so first of all, what we will have to do is open everything. Oh, LCD screens, I remember, they are really, really nice. Uh, so what I need, I need, what's that? Water generator. What I need right now is uh, hover vessel start. Hover vessel starter, uh, which uh, most definitely we'll need in order to progress with our mission. Quite unfortunately, we still don't have enough solar power to power up this bad boy. And of course, we'll have to make myself a drill because with a drill I will be able to mine some stuff. Because gathering resources from those stupid nodes that are over there, in somewhere over there, yeah, somewhere over there and here and there is really really pain in the neck. What I don't like with the current setup of those uh, input and output cargo pallets or uh, storage containers is that you cannot actually pick up stuff from directly from your, uh, from your, um, what do you call it, uh, constructor. So that's in my opinion kind of a suck, but that's okay, hey ho. What can you do? So let's take everything that we will need, armor locker and cockpit and generator and I think RCS. You guys told me that I don't need it actually, so I'm gonna be leaving that one. Fuel tank, I think I might need some power for the, for the vessel itself. Mm, is there any button where, where I can sort all that stuff that I have or do I really have to still organize my giant by hand uh, I think I have to organize it by myself right um okay the drill where's the drill is it still being done I have absolutely no idea let's go outside because with the drill no it's done okay so it should be over here is it yeah there it is look at that oh fantastic I'm on. I'm not gonna be the I'm not gonna be using uh, I'm not going to be using the chainsaw at least for right now uh, because I have this awesome base and I can go out there and get some materials finally so let's go let's go to the iron deposit because with the iron I will probably have to make quite a lot of um, blocks to make hover vessel at least something uh, to um, allow me to travel from place uh, a to place B. So I've already started digging out over here the iron deposits trying to find it uh, but then I went in here and it's I had a ore scanner right from the beginning and I remember from Alpha 9 that uh, with the ore scanner you should be able to see those nodes so I was not digging any further because yeah mm, because it states that you need to uh, have handheld drill equipped and that and then the ore scanner will show you ore veins but I have a handheld drill and actually I don't see any any ore and we are pretty much within the range uh, for the 30 uh, 15 and uh, no, 20 to 30 meters of distance that it should show mm, but yeah let's at least try and go and do some maybe not horizontal digging but ha, look at that look at that i think i have found something and that doesn't look like node to me at all so my question to you guys did devs uh, decided to let go of those nodes that you were able to mine and get like 50 or 60 or 100 pieces of ore and go back to the ore veins that we had way 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 in the past because in my opinion that's that's what they did just right now and let me just check bada beam bada boom we already have 174 iron great great stuff because with that I can start making some blocks and with that uh, uh, with more resources it's gonna be much much easier although I hate grind I don't like gathering resources and now I'm kind of a fuck because I destroyed ok 
Okay, that was kind of a strange noise to hear, but I think I was just going through the sand and apparently there is a different sound when you... Oh, shit! Yeah, when you mine sand and ground and soil. Okay, so we have not used too much of the drill energy and we got really quite nice amount of resources. I wonder if I can destroy those with my drill. Yes, I can. Fantastic. That's really cool. Okay, okay. Just testing. And you know, I like to test. Alrighty then. So let's go back. Mm, I cannot put stuff in my constructor. I don't have enough blocks. And I think... Hello? Open, please. Says me. Close. So no spiders will come out. And kill me, I have some hop hopper, I have some copper, I have some iron, and we can start making some blocks. Right, so what do we have? Carbon, carbon composite blocks. Oh, mass, volume, okay. Let's make some. Okay, so I'm gonna make a few of those. I can't even move stuff in my container. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of a realistic jazz, but that's okay. Let's just leave it. So I'm going to be making those carbon composite blocks just because uh, they are fairly easy to make because then it, I think carbon substrate is made out of plant fibers and stone dust and plant fibers inputs. Okay. Oh, okay. So these can make this and then this can make this okay fair enough let's just make few of those um, lovely 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 uh, blocks where are they I have 17 that should be more than enough to start making a hover vessel righty that's gonna be kind of an interesting experience as usual okay so let's place it I just hope that arrow does point the forward over there. We have a core, we have some blocks around it. So what we need is this one. Oh, 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 oh. It's, as usual, it's kind of a big. But let's try and place it in the center, like so. Okay, and this -da 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 -da. our first vehicle. Yes, first vehicle in Alpha 11. Right, I think I should at least give it some support underneath. I don't know if I will be able to do that. It actually looks like um, carbon fiber that you can find on Lamborghini or Ferrari, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, looking good, looking good, or nanotubes or something. Unfortunately, we cannot fly it just yet. You know, I'm gonna just make really awful design, but I just want to uh, get this thing going right. And then, 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 not like that. Changing the axis. Okay, like so. No. Yeah. Ooh. What's that? Emergency pressure release only. Okay. Nice. There's a tank. I don't know why there's a tank in the generator. But what do I know about generators? Uh, almost nothing. Right. And we will need some engines. So I'm gonna... Is it like the right... I think so. I think the, it, it should be placed like so, over here. I mean the, 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 the right direction of thrust. Okay, we've put three repulsory engines, <coughs> generator, and now we'll need a tank. What? Shit, okay, that is fuel tank. That's, that's why there is a tank over there. God damn it, Borek. God damn it. Know what you are placing. Ah, ah, okay, this is the generator. And we can rotate it somehow, like that, and now like so, unfortunately it is free, yeah, 
it's not gonna be sorry it's not gonna be completely well balanced but that's okay and let me just check the center of the mass it's gonna fly like crap uh, because the center of the mass does not is not in the center but that's okay hey ho what can you do right mm -hmm. let's debug that Sh show oxygen airtight blocks okay let's go inside and let's see what we can do with this baby yes private hover vessel i'm not gonna be saved i'm not i'm not gonna be saving that so let's manage the fuel let's let's just put some fuel some primitive packs over there oh 10 percent that's gonna be more than enough oh shit power the vessel no uh Ta -ta -ta -ta. Congratulations, I have absolutely no idea what is the shortcut for powering the vessel. Oh, look at that hard! Let's go with the basic building. Ooh. Now we're cooking. Speed, velocity, I think C was... Find suitable mining location. What the fuck? Something is attacking my ship. Piss off! You were not attacking my ship when I was uh, riding my bike, and now you do that? You lousy bitch! Get your ass back here! Stupid spider, I'm gonna make a awesome barbecue out of you. Right, um, okay, it does create some sort of a dust. Is it destroyed already? What a dumb fuck. Yeah, sorry about my language. Uh, repair. Let's reload it first, and now we can repair it. Ah, it's like brand new. Right, uh, this, and now no, this, this, no. How do I... Okay. Yeah, so I always like to see where I'm flying and what do I do. Um, with a space, we can go up boost ourselves up as you can see the center of the mass is not in the center of the vehicle so that kind of a suck i will have to adjust adjust that but at least we have some sort of a possibility to go out and to have some fun <laughs> maximum speed 14 meters per second this is really fast this is really fast but at least we can go over um over lakes and stuff like that that makes me very very happy it's not like we're going to be, you know, there in no time. But at least we can go. Those guys will attack my ship as well. I need to make myself a turret to kill those bastards. So they does not attack me. So at least we can go to um, radiated zone. Uh, because in the begin at the beginning of the video, I've told you guys about uh, Prometheum nodes that I found over here. I've also found one cobalt node, which is absolutely awesome and fantastic because, well, sometimes you just need that uh, to make some fluxes. And there you go. Okay. Stop to exit. I have stopped. And I can exit. Right. And there you go. Look at that. There is a node. Prometheum node. Rock drill. Prometheum bearing. Hit points 60. Bam. There you go. This is how you can gather... gather um, this awesome thingy jig that will that you will need in order to power your things and uh, uh, create multi-tool charges and the drill charges as well if you don't know that but probably all of you know that already okay so also let's have a look at the HUD so HUD does give you information about uh, height above the sea, sea level I guess on the left side of the HUD you can see four five meters and it goes down and if we go above the sea level it should pinpoint 1.2 1.3 meters and we are let's say 1.5 meter above the ground as we are precisely almost right now on the right hand side of the hard you can see the power or the speed the maximum speed is 14 meters per second the bearing in the top section with um, 
I don't see any markers, that's a shame, because in my opinion those markers should disappear and it would be better if I have my portable constructor on the top section of the HUD, that would be much much better. And not to mention in the top left corner of the HUD you can see the distance to the orbit and to the ground. And right now we are 30-25 meters above the sea level. Uh, 1.5 meter above the ground and one kilometer away from the hop bit <laughs> from the orbit and bugs attack me right uh, why you yeah why is the shortcut to power this bad boy and now let's have some fun with spiders it's a bit spider <laughs> bye bye sucker why? Oh, yeah. The generator. Oh, shit. Oh, it's been so long since I did that. You cannot damage this. Yeah. No. Why was there a radiation sound? Because I, I, I could hear the tiger meter. I know that generators does create that, but this one is not creating anything. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Cool. Right, nevertheless guys, I think we're gonna slowly wrap up this episode. It's been fun to play around again. So we have created a small vehicle, maybe not small vehicle, but we have created hover vehicle um, as a first one. Nothing special, nothing fancy, just something to uh, get me from place A to place B. Now I have to go and m find some ores in order to continue with the mission that we have. Um, reputation will go with that a bit later on, but where's the information? Yeah, there it is. No, where was it? F1, okay, just press goddamn F1. Uh, basic building, fi find some ores and then blah, 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 blah. Probably will get more information. Actually, I got 20 upgrade points as a reward to complete the Robinson protocol. That's really handy. That's really nice. Is it really true? Yeah, I had 40 at the beginning and now huh, 46. So yeah, that's what the hell is going on. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> right, a uh, large auto tank. That makes me very, very happy. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment with the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you new and you like what you see. And I hope that we'll see each other in the next episode, where we'll continue our awesome adventure with this awesome game. Let's just go and dress myself up. Mm, 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 mm. And balance this jazz. Do, 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 do. Santa does have a suit. Yeah, look at that. Awesome, isn't it? Yeah.